Hey guys, how you doing? This is Mango Etc. And I'm here today to bring you the review for One Piece Manga Chapter 1014. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is how, based on what Kaido says, and he says something on the lines of he was trying to use um, Conqueror's Haki all over your body, he did it clumsily, it makes it seem like Luffy was trying something out and he just got caught lacking, you know, kind of saw an opening and <laughs> right in there and knocked him off. But regardless if he got caught lacking, regardless if Luffy was fully aware, fully focused on the fight and he still got defeated, then at the end of the day, he still got defeated. And I strongly, still strongly believe of whatever the circumstances was, but <laughs> sorry, whatever the circumstances were in this one-on-one -on -one fight with Kaido, he lost it he would have lost it any in any shape or form so he lost it he lost it he's not ready to be taken on yonko one-on-one -on -one. this is what i truly believe and i will keep saying it until further notice but he's not tough he's actually in the sea right now like <laughs> drowning I don't know who's gonna hop in there and save him, but someone needs to hop in there and save him before he dies. And then, you know, one piece of the series will be over. But that's Luffy's current predicament right now. And now he says something, Kaido says something, which I don't understand, which was, was which um involves Joy Boy. And, it, and I've got the page of right now, it says, you couldn't be Joy Boy, dot, dot, dot either it seems i have no idea what that means <laughs> no idea whatsoever so if you've got some ideas please let me know in the comment section thank you very much so now after that the most in this next interesting thing to catch me is the stuff with odin i mean not odin sorry momosuke <laughs> And now he's been reading Odin's journal, and now we know that there's a lot of important info in that journal. So for him to be reading it, boy, he says, Momosuke says, you know, it's very important that he he doesn't die. And also, that's probably based off of something that he's read in the journal. So he knows something that we don't know, but yeah, that'll probably come, that'll probably be revealed to us eventually. I'm not sure if it'll be sooner rather than later, but eventually it'll be revealed to us. But he then has a freak out attack like he did when Zhao, when Zunisha was talking to him. At least that's what I um, compare it to. So I'm not saying that Zunisha is here, but I'm guessing somebody is here and powerful and, you know, could be a very important ally. That's what I'm thinking right now. So then we move on to Chopper versus Queen. Now I was very surprised to find out that Chopper is still even tangoing with Queen, but that's what we get. And now based on like how I see the chapter is that Chop Chopper is still, you know, he's still able to fight. He's still in monster point, but he ain't doing no damage. <laughs> he ain't doing no damage. You know, he's he is result um despite sorry what, what I'm guessing is that he, despite him being constantly on the attack side, that's what I think, that's what it is, for the most part, the shop on the attack, getting in these hits, whatever, he's the one that's panning, he's the one out of breath, and the queen's just, you know, after each hit kind of thing, that's what I'm getting at, and then, during this time, it's revealed to us, that I'm guessing, like, after Punk Hazard, But at some point, Chopper and Caesar had words, and basically Caesar gave Chopper some helpful advice, and now he can extend his rumble ball time to 30 minutes. So he's gave it a times 10, and that's cool, that's great and all, but it's not the power up he needs. He don't need to extend the time. In fact, I would have been even, in fact, I think I prefer the short amount of time because the way I see it is that I don't know, no, no one don't really care about Chopper, I know. But at the end of the day, I would rather Chopper get, I don't even know if it works like this. Chopper gets stronger in his base and therefore that strengthens his points. And then 
we have monster pudding that's going to be used for three minutes you can control it now and then maybe even possibly i would have liked a three balls eaten and then you know they'll introduce a new point and a new uncontrollable point that's what i would have liked but no it doesn't seem that we're gonna get that it seems that now he's extended his monster point time without getting stronger but I don't think anybody will, most fans will care because, um, you know, Chopper is not really like a fan favourite. He's literally, for most people's part, I think he's just there to play the doctor on the ship. So I don't think people care much about his development. So it's announced throughout uh, that Luffy has been defeated and Kylo has given everybody, like, you know, a final chance to surrender. You know, certain people are like, oh no, they ain't going down. So, Kanjiro still on the prowl, still playing that dirty trick, and now it works on Momosuke, obviously he wasn't there the first time, it works on Momosuke, but Kiku is like, don't fall for that, and she goes on the attack, and now I'm trying to think, because I may be wrong about this, even though she's on the attack, to me it seems like that when she got to him, Conjero, disguised as Odin, she knew it was Conjero, but despite the fact of knowing it was Conjero, she couldn't attack simply because that he looked like Odin. That's the way I see it, that's the way I portrayed it. And if that's the case, Kiki, you an, you an idiot, an absolute idiot. And now, I don't know if she's dead, but that woman is, that woman is brutal. And the way Kini one acted afterwards kind of makes me think that you know that she might be dead. But you know, confirmation of the of the of death will come later if that's the case. But after after Kiku got hit and sliced, Conjero got sliced. <laughs> Kini one put in the work, and I think Conjero the snitch is finally being put down for good. But after that, in hops in Kaido. <laughs> and he does a Konkurs Haki embedded attack to Kinemon. Now, we all know Kinemon had trouble with Kaido when it was the nine of them versus Kaido. I don't know how long he's going to last solo. So someone better hop in there quickly and help him out. So as I've said previously, Luffy is in the water. I have no idea who could come in to save him. But I just had a thought. If it was Zunisha that was trying to contact um, Momosuke in the very early chapters of the very early stages of the chapter, it could possibly be him. But it could be someone else. We never know. Ki no, not Kino one, sorry. Mamusuke does say, uh, what is that? Who is it? So I feel like it could be someone new because obviously he'd be familiar with Zunisha's voice. So if it was Zunisha, then like, you know, be familiar with it. So it might be someone new, but someone needs to come in there and hop in and save, um, save Rufi. So yeah, that's everything that happened in this chapter. I think it was a pretty bog standard chapter, so I'm going to give it a 3 star rating. Like always guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care, have a nice day.